Okay, here we have a light bulb. But not just any light bulb. I've always been intrigued by these. Yes, they're cheap CFLs from Walmart, but uh, the difference is the reason why I'm intrigued by it is you know, CFLs usually take some time before they reach full brightness. And there for a little while, GE was trying to solve that problem by making a hybrid bulb like this one. Um, inside, in the middle of that spiral, is a halogen capsule, uh, which comes on immediately to add brightness to the bulb while the CFL is warming up. And they claim that by doing that, they can reduce mercury and save the planet and, you know, all of that stuff. And, of course, we know that only applies until, you know, six months after you buy the bulb and it fails because it's a piece of crap Chinese pride. And so it ends up in the landfill anyway. So not really saving anything with this, and it's a lot more expensive than a regular CFL. But I was always kind of intrigued just from a gadgety point of view. And it... Uh, I never bought one because they were like $12 each, and I was like, I'm not going to spend that kind of money just because it's interesting. So um, I found this at the local wall fart yesterday, and it was on the clearance rack for $4. So I said, okay, now you got me. I'll have to buy one just because I want to see what happens. All right. Well, anyways, here we go. I'm going to turn it on. You'll see the halogen light come on until the bulb reaches full brightness and then the halogen part will turn off. I'm also going to be watching and commenting on the kilowatt meter to let you know the watt draw of this bulb. All right, here we go. All right, now it's on. There you go. You can see the halogen capsule inside there. Now that the camera, right there, that's the halogen capsule that's on. I can't see it with my bare eyes because it's so bright. Um, it's currently pulling 75 watts. 74.4, 75, 76, 75. So it's pulling about 75 watts. Now, once the CFL tube warms up and the halogen bulb turns off, I will recheck the watts and we'll find out what it's pulling now. This is actually incredibly bright. Um, you know, again, it's, it's all good in theory until we realize that these little cheap Chinese components inside are going to fail. Okay, do you see that? The halogen capsule went out. Now we're pulling 16 watts. So we're at 16, 15.9, 16, 15.4, 15.9, 15 even, 14.9. See, the, the watt draw is going down as the cathodes heat up and the, the tube becomes... Uh, warm enough for its optimal efficiency. So I guess it's got about a 60 watt halogen capsule inside. And I think it ran, judging from the timer on my iPhone, it uh, stayed on for about two minutes and then it went off. Now if I were to turn the lamp off now and then turn it back on once the camera balances out there you'll notice the halogen capsule did not come back on. That's because it does have an internal thermostat that if the bulb is warm enough or has recently been used, there is no need for the halogen part because the tube will come on at near full brightness. Okay, here in a moment when Spatsbear joins me, we will be showing you a new, totally different type of light bulb, and you'll be amazed at uh, what it's actually made of. So stick around. Okay, for part two of this video, I have got um, a light bulb here that, until recently, I had never heard of such. Um, it's a View One ESL light bulb. What is ESL, you say? Well, for all practical purposes, this light bulb is a mini CRT picture tube. That's right. That is sort of a television set. Now, the reason why I say that is because ESL is Electron Stimulated Lighting Technology. 
it has all the components of a CRT television set. Minus the tuner, of course, and with different phosphors, and, you know, some other stuff, of course. But what it has is an electron gun. It has a glass, very thick, heavy glass tube, and it has a second anode underneath this plastic shroud here. It has a flyback transformer and electronics. And what happens is basically, if you remember the old IBM monochrome white screen uh, displays that you might find on a PS2 or maybe an old uh, 8088, um, what we've got here, it, it basically uses an electron gun to scan and bombard the surface of this glass which is coated with phosphor on the inside and it excites the phosphor and it makes it glow just like a TV set. So yeah you can't see a picture on this but it's pretty much a picture tube. Alright, here's the box. And I just want to say something real quick. The phosphors on it pretty much resemble that of a black and white set or just like you said with that monochrome IBM monitor. Uh, I just brought that up real quick because it's, it's the same thing, just uh, different uh, color temperature. Where it's like that IBM monochrome is more of a 6500 Kelvin. This is 3200 Kelvin, hence why it's yellowish looking. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay. Well, what you get is um, it's dimmable. Um, 500 lumens, so that's about the same as a 60 watt light bulb. Now it says it replaces a 65 watt. They're being just a little smidge conservative there, uh, optimistic. optimistic there. But yes, it's about 500 lumens is about a 60 watt incandescent, um, or about a 50 watt or 45 watt halogen. Um, it says that it costs two dollars and 35 cents a year to operate, and um, that it lasts for 10 years. Okay, well, I'm not entirely convinced. Because of one reason. Well, my phone won't focus on that, but you can tell what it says. Made in China. But, I don't know. Something like this that's new and proprietary and all that, it can't be like mass produced to the extent of being cheap China pride. But, we shall see. Um, I, there are some other YouTube videos on this bulb, um, mostly those who have had problems with it. I don't know. I think it's cool that they're using old CRT technology for a light bulb. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. So I ordered this online to um, just see what it looks like, try it out, and um, it was $14.95. And I'm not going to tell you the website I bought it from because they're not paying me a commission to say so. But, yeah, just search for VU1, which spell, which stands for VU1, and you'll see the website that I ordered it from because it's the only one. Um, and I've received a couple of conflicting bits of information. Um, the company itself says that they have suspended production on these. Um, other websites say that they've completely... Um, stopped, they've given up on the idea. Um, I don't know. The point is, I found it online, bought it for 15 bucks and some odd uh, for shipping. I think it ended up being about 20 bucks for one light bulb. Okay, yeah, oh golly, Harley, that's so expensive for a friggin' light bulb. Okay, tell you what, those LEDs up there that came from Home Depot, those were what, 15 bucks a piece? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's 15 bucks. It's not as bright as this bulb. Okay, and it still uses almost almost as much power as this bulb. So, I mean, you know. Anyhow, let me go ahead and uh, connect it up into this cheap lamp. Oh, nice, a little metal desk lamp. Somebody showed their Walmart pride. Yeah, shut up. Now, through the magic of video editing, you will suddenly see the light bulb in this lamp. Woo, 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 woo. There it is. Yeah, it's hanging there all ghetto fabulous and stuff, but I'm telling you guys, this bulb weighs a freaking ton. I mean, seriously. 
like that's how it should be in the lamp. But if you let go, it's like blah, because it, it weighs so much it's bending the mount on the socket back there. Doesn't help that the lamp's pure china pride. Well, yeah, <laughs> there is that as well. But anyhow. Yeah. All right. Should we power it on? Yeah. Okay. Now, just to let you know, it's going to before you turn it on there, Mr. Burr. Yeah. It's going to look differently on camera than it looks in real life because the iPhone takes a moment to adjust um, for the brightness of the light and then you should see it about how it appears to the regular eye. But it looks like a regular CRT television set when you turn it on and finally the picture fades into view. It, it looks like that, only sped up just a little bit. So go ahead and turn it on. There you go. It literally takes about that long. Whoa! Just that long. And looks like the light balance on the phone isn't going to cooperate. There we go. Okay. That's an approximation of what the color is. It's a very warm white. Um, not quite as warm as an incandescent, but approximately the same color as those LEDs up there in the ceiling, those cam lights. But it is uh, quite bright. Show the shadows back here. Um, let's see. see. I mean, see, it, it, it's lighting up the whole garage. It lights up the whole garage. Yeah. You know, and it makes shadows down there. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it makes your face very bright. And your wife beater. Shut up. Even though I'm not your wife. Oh, girl, please, anyway. Ouch! I can still beat you. You can still beat me. But yeah, that's basically a circular television screen right there. And I know it doesn't, I know you're going to comment. I know it doesn't have like a shadow mask or, um, you know, anything along the lines of a, it's not a Sony Trinitron for, for God's sake. But yeah, I mean, it's electrons striking phosphors, uh, making them illuminate using the same circuitry that you would find in a CRT television. There is, you know, an electron gun in there um, with with filament heaters and um, a second anode and a flyback transformer. And when you touch it, listen. You hear that? Static electricity, just like on a TV screen. All right? Look how thick this glass is. Can you see it on the camera? Wait. Hold on. Let, let this iPhone focus. Don't none of you peeps make fun of me from having an iPhone. Two more months and I'll have an Android, okay? Are you happy, all of you YouTube people? <laughs> I know I'm happy. Okay, so it's not going to focus. All right, anyways, it's very thick glass. Maybe you can see it slightly here. I don't know. I think my phone is being overdriven by the power of the light. Because it's just so bright. But anyhow, um, yeah, that's that's the cool new light bulb that we found. Um, and again, I am not advocating that everyone go out and buy these because I'm sure it's probably not going to have the longevity. Um, I mean, it is, you know, sort of a new technology and a proprietary light bulb. And they've already kind of paused making these, so there's been issues, I'm sure. But it's kind of cool. We thought it was cool to have a literally a CRT, a cathode ray tube as a light bulb. So, there you go. Wait, you need to show it turning off. Yeah, we'll show it turning off. But that's the View 1 dimmable interior flood lamp. It's mercury free. All right, here's how it turns off. Go for it. Just like that. It kind of goes you off. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did.